Hello everyone, this is Mike and you are watching Really. Reese Witherspoon's husband, Jim, midlife crisis reportedly fueled their ongoing divorce after the actress announced the difficult decision to split. The star 47, who have a 10-year-old son, Tennessee, shared the news after almost 12 years of marriage, saying they took a great deal of care and consideration. And now, an alleged friend of the family has claimed the actor and producer Jim 52 is no longer the same man that Rees married. They explained how he began dressing like someone half his age with weird jewelry and tattoos. The pal explained to The Sun USA, Jim is one who has changed massively just in the last few years. Jim just isn't the guy Rees married and had a son with anymore. Rees and Jim sold their production company Hello Sunshine for almost $1 billion in 2021, with the money sending them in different directions. They added his personality, his attitude, and his whole take on life really changed when he got out of the agency business and decided he was tired of that stuffy world and being in the service business in general. Call it a midlife crisis if you want, but that's when the tattoos, the chunky weird jewelry and dressing like somebody half his age really took hold. The pal added that the exes will continue to co-parent um, their son, something that Reese is experienced in as she also shares two children with her ex-husband Ryan. The movie star shared the news via her Instagram Friday afternoon in a joint statement from her and Jim to stays before the 12th wedding anniversary. As they uh, said and we quote, We have some personal news to share. It is with a great deal of care and consideration that we have made the difficult decision in, you know, to divorce. The mom of three wrote, We have enjoyed so many wonderful years together and are moving forward with deep love, kindness and mutual respect. Reese and Jim, who wed on March 26, 2011, share son together, Tennessee James 10, she has two children from her first marriage to Ryan Philip, if we are not wrong, yeah, Eva, 23, and Diacon, 19. Reese and Jim continued in this statement, Our biggest priority is our son and our entire family as we navigate this next chapter. These matters are never easy and are extremely personal. We truly appreciate everyone's respect for our family's privacy as this time, Reese and Jim, she concluded. A source told People magazine after the news was announced that Rees and Jim's split is amicable. They really are the best of friends and this is such an amicable decision. They are so committed to co-parenting together. They are invested in the whole family and are making this as smooth as possible for everyone, the insider said. Rees shared snaps with Jim in December 2022 as they enjoyed Christmas time with the family. In July 2022, Reese shared photos on Instagram of herself with Jim to mark his birthday, captioning the set, Happy birthday to my sweet hubby. So, what is a midlife crisis? The definition of a midlife crisis is a period of transition in life where someone struggles with their identity and self confidence. It happens anywhere from 40 years old to 60 years old and affects men and women. A midlife crisis is not a disorder, but is mainly psychological. It occurs when someone looks at where they are in life compared to where they think they should be by a certain age. Who is affected by a midlife crisis? Men and women can both experience a midlife crisis, but it may look different for each. On average, most people experience one between the ages of 40 and 60, but she may have it before or after those ages as well. Now you may think, am I going through a midlife crisis or am I depressed? Well, sometimes it can be confusing to know if you are feeling depressed or if you are experiencing a midlife crisis. Both have similar symptoms and they can be confused with one another. A midlife crisis happens periodically, 
and may last for a short time. Depression will last much longer and be more consistent. Either way, both conditions can be emotional and confusing, which is why it is good to look for help or advice. Now, if you're wondering what are the symptoms, well, feeling sad or a lack of confidence, especially after a big milestone, accomplishment or birthday, feeling bored, loss of meaning or, or purpose in life, feeling unfulfilled, feelings of nostalgia excessively, thinking about the past, making impulse actions, feelings of regret, constantly comparing yourself to others. In women, you know, basically these symptoms may be made worse because of, you know, the fact that they are surrounded by emotional females and stuff like that. But in men, emotions may be more angry or irritated. Symptoms of a midlife crisis and depression are similar and can sometimes be the same, which is why it is good to talk with a doctor if you think you are depressed. According to the Centers for Disease Control, white men between the age of 45 and 54 have the highest rate of suicide, also women between the ages of 40 and 60 years are at the highest rate of depression. It is important to know the difference between depression and something like a midlife crisis. Now, what are the treatment options for you? A midlife crisis can be emotional, frustrating and confusing. However, there are things you can do to help get through a time like this. Seeking professional help, seeking a doctor to, or doctor or therapist, uh, you know, can be very beneficial. Therapy is a great way to talk about your feelings and emotions healthy, healthily and safely. Couples counseling, if you are, if you and your partner are experiencing these symptoms, it can help to try couples counseling. A uh, therapist can help mitigate challenges and give helpful tips on how to help your partner going through a life crisis. Try something new, like you know, picking up a new hobby or getting back into an old one can bring you joy and excitement. It is good to think through your decisions and take your time. Though picking an extreme hobby or doing something too new to you could be unhealthy or reckless. Take your time if you are going through a midlife crisis and it is not depression. It will get better with time. It takes time to get through a situation like this. Be patient and be kind and understanding to others who may be going through something similar. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you like it.